When we said we are transforming healthcare at the QE2, our donor community said we are all in. United together for a new QE2. We are grateful for our community of supporters who step up, create change, advance care, disrupt the status quo, transform lives. These stories are just some of what donors made possible through the QE2 over the past year, inspired by family, community, and kindness. We worshipped mom and dad, you know, especially mom. mom was, she was the one who inspired everybody. She was very kind, generous, and um, she loved all her children. She was head nurse at the Halifax Infirmary, primary nursery for years. My dad was a soldier, Canadian soldier, out of Truro. We slept in one bed in one room uh, for uh, a lot of years until we got of age and then the girls got their own room. A big night for us on uh, McFatcher's Road was bologna and big egg pop. And that was like steak and eggs, you know, or steak and, you know what I mean? It was like, wow. My dad's in his office, he always has, he's got a closet full of toys. So anytime a kid comes into his office, uh, he's always got a toy to give because um, he remembers what it was like. We realized that our parents were trying their best and dad was sick and mom worked seven days a week and but she'd come home and cook. It was amazing. There's something to be uh, you know kind of inspired by that the fact that there's been people in the family who started off with relatively modest beginnings and to see the growth and then to see that people haven't lost touch of what's important. You know, my mother was devastated when my father passed away, and he passed away at 57. Mom died of colon cancer, and her mother died of colon cancer, and her, her sister died of colon cancer. I've had the pleasure of meeting with the McDonald family a number of times, and nothing is clearer than their commitment to family. They're making an investment in cancer care. This is an amazing gift that will allow us to advance cancer care to earlier detection, to better treatment options, uh, to improve survival and better long-term outcomes. To have something that could be potentially like the leading cancer care center in Canada hopefully inspires people to do even better things in the future. This is about a legacy, about giving to families for families and the impact that the McDonald family will have will be felt by families across the province. Donors create life-changing moments experienced by patients and their families every day at the QE2. Some monumental, some small, all with incredible impact on lives touched. My name is Helen Chen and I'm a staff chaplain. No matter you have faith or not, Yes, I would be there for you. <laughs> the patient in the hospital and their families, they actually experience a lot of stress, mentally, physically, and also financially. Being generous, being kind is extremely important in that moment. And at that point, I feel really desperate. What, what can we do? The QE2 Patient Essentials Fund puts financial support through gift cards into the hands of QE2 healthcare providers helping patients access essential items during their care journey. Donors make patient grants like the QE2 Patient Essentials Fund possible, extending kindness to patients during their toughest times. I receive about $500 per time uh, to share about 20 gift cards to the patient who are in need. All the gift cards actually come from the donors. They really uh, empower us and also the, the patients to continue to their, their journey in getting the treatment and that's just plant a little seeds of hope and help them to continue to move on, to fight, to fight for their family. Community spirit and desire to advance care now and for future generations are a powerful combination. Community fundraisers show what's possible when people come together to support a cause near to their heart. It's always been a goal of mine to help everybody that I can, like as a personal trainer and a coach, is I want to help people live their best lives. Back in September 2020, I got a call from one of my best friends and he told me about how his dad was diagnosed with brain cancer. Our families were close since I was born. There's no blood relation, but he's, he's who I call my Uncle Rob. And I remember getting off the phone, and I was up most of the night thinking, I'm like, like, what would I do? 
I knew I wanted to raise money for brain cancer and I knew that's something we can do to help the future. But I had no idea where to go from there. What I did is I chatted with some people from our community and some of our staff and one of our staff put me in touch with the Q2 Foundation and they helped me from then on. The Bash Against Brain Cancer was an event filled with many other events, from workout events to running events to even just um, some wash and toss and cornhole to bring the community together. My original hopes was to raise like $5,000 and then by event day, when everything came to fruition, I think we finished just shy of $10,000, um, which I think blew like, all of our staff away. So I'm very excited this year if we can make that even bigger. At the end of that night, I know I had two of our members come up to me and one of them lost their father and somebody talked to me about how they lost their brother. I mean, a big reason of why I went to Blended Athletics in the first place was the community. It's like one big family. It's really moving how, when you're in times of need, in times of care, how the community can come together. Our community of generous donors touch nearly every care area every patient cared for, the catalyst for change, driving innovation, and moving life-saving treatment and care forward. Thank you. Together, we are transforming healthcare.